Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome back to the channel, man. Listen, man. I want to talk about this this minivan here. This is one of the new ones, man. Actually, it's a 2017. Uh, a customer having some cooling issues. AC is not getting as cold as they think it should be. We all think our AC should be colder. We don't care if it's a 150 degrees outside. We expect that AC to be freezing cold. <laughs> now, that's not realistic, but you can't try telling that to a customer that just spent 30 grand for their car. They want the AC cold no matter what the temperature is outside. All right, like I say, I had um, to replace the, end up replacing the expansion valve on this one. Um, pretty uncommon, I haven't done one in a while. And the diagnostic procedure wasn't working for me for some reason. Um, there's a, several different ways you can diagnose this thing. First of all, this is a expansion valve. Now, most AC systems are gonna have, utilize either an expansion valve or an office tube. Orifice tube is pretty much generally in a liquid line. The expansion valve is predominantly located in the inlet to the evaporator. Okay, in the inlet, so, so wherever your car is evaporated, core is, expansion valve got to be near. <laughs> Normally right on the front head of it. And uh, it pretty much meters the amount of refrigerant to the evaporator coil. Now this is all based on the temperature of the evaporator coil and the load, the demand that is needed to you know, make the car as cool as possible. So it can fail in numerous ways. Like I say, it can allow too much refrigerant in and cause the system to freeze. If you like see icicles or mist inside of your vents, AC vents, and you go outside and your lines are froze, you could have a malfunctioning, I don't like the word bad, you could have a malfunctioning expansion valve. So uh, then too, it can fail by not allowing enough refrigerant into it. And you can essentially overheat the evaporator. So they fail in a num numerous amount of ways. Now I had to improvise on a diagnosis on this one because my readings was pretty normal. Now with AC, you pretty much got to determine if you got a plumbing issue or an inside electrical issue. Now I had inside electrical issue the way I go about doing is verifying that the compressor's on. Compressor's on, the clutch is on spinning. You go grab your AC lines, they're not cold, but your compressor's on and your gauges are semi-normal, something is going on. You got a restriction somewhere. So, like I say, normal diagnostic wasn't working for me, so what I wind up doing, and I probably shouldn't say this, but grabbing a pry bar and a, I tapped on the expansion valve. All of a sudden, my readings went more normal than should and the car got cold uh, for a brief moment. So which pretty much led me to this. Uh, this is, you can, you can see it's pintles inside here. This thing opens and closes. It probably was jamming and like, this is not an old car. This is a 2017. So there's no time frame when they fail. They can fail at any given time. I wanna keep this video short, man. I just wanna talk to you about this. Um, is this a do-it-yourself job? Uh, if you have the equipment, you know you're not supposed to let AC out into the atmosphere or Freon out into the atmosphere. It's pretty much illegal, but it can be a do-it-yourself job. The hardest part about the do-it-yourself guy is the diagnostic. Um, you can easily misdiagnose this and put it on and this not be your problem. So I suggest, you know, you take it to a Chrysler dealership. Me personally, I'm not promoting Chrysler dealership, although I work for one, you're in the Atlanta area and you need one, come to the one on Highway 78. Because like I gotta say, you're gonna need some special equipment. Not just this, you're gonna need a vacuum pump because you got to pull a vacuum on the system before you dump the Freon back in. Do it yourself or if you're gonna try it, just be careful, I guess, and try to follow the laws because um, there are stringent laws in place doing AC work. I wanna keep this video short. Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.